Thankfulness, a principle of prosperity. It's feeling gratitude for everything that you have. In the Bible, thankfulness is talked about and it's given as an attitude that you should have all the time. In Ephesians, it says, giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in Thessalonians, it says, give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And Oprah Winfrey, she talks about thankfulness. So she says, be thankful for what you have, you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never ever have enough. And that also is part of what the secret, the movie talked about for the law of attraction of being thankful and in an attitude of gratitude presents a certain vibration and that vibration will attract more of the same. So being thankful for what you have will bring you more. There's also a book called The Magic and it goes through 30 days of exercises to practice being grateful for everything in your life. I highly recommend it. Thankfulness also is talked about by John Henry Jowett. Life without thankfulness is devoid of love and passion. Hope without thankfulness is lacking in fine perception. Faith without thankfulness lacks strength and fortitude. Every virtue divorced from thankfulness is maimed and limps along the spiritual road. Thankfulness also was talked about in, in a book called Simple Abundance. You simply will not be the same person two months from now after consciously giving thanks each day for the abundance that exists in your life. And you'll have set in motion an ancient spiritual law. The more you have and are grateful for, the more will be given to you. What are you thankful for? Do you have an attitude of gratitude every day? I know I often forget to be grateful and thankful. So what I'm going to do is take the next month and go through that book, The Magic, and do all those exercises to be in an attitude of gratitude and thankful for everything in my life. And... While you're at it, come visit my blog at kathymillsonline.com if you haven't been there already.